Anyway, let's go find some non-CD activities to participate in. There's got to be like some way for a homeless girl to earn $10 around here without being accosted by slime balls. <laughs> Perhaps there is some kind of performance element that we could play on, because doesn't Ellen Page play some sort of instrument? <laughs> Look at this shot. It's like, ah, oh, there's a bin in front of me and I can't even interact with it. Disgusting. <laughs> You've just got to get the feel of the place. You've got to get the kind of atmosphere of this snowy New York looking street. Hmm. If I had some money, I think I could interact with that. I'm not sure what went wrong. Oh well. <laughs> you don't have the funds to make payphone purchases. Is that your guitar? Yep. No, it's that guy across the streets. I stole it from him. I'm going to pawn it and have so many warm meals. <laughs> you non-homeless people don't know what it's like not to have meals ago. You don't understand. Oh, she's tempted. Oh, she's going for it. I think this scene was put in the game purely because Ellen Page knows how to play guitar in real life. Oh god, yeah, it's gotta be. I mean, you, you can tell that 90% of this game was done because Ellen Page exists. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have to tune a guitar. <laughs> I remember this from Indigo Prophecy. <laughs> Except this time it's a bit more intuitive. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Like, I, I tried re-recording a non-commentary version of uh, Indigo Prophecy slash Fahrenheit, and um, I kept fucking up the prompts for, uh, uh, it, what, what was it, Lucas's guitar? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> You're so used to that refined sort of edge <laughs> to oh, your inputs. <laughs> <laughs> What's cool, uh, well, I say cool, interesting, I guess, is that every time you boot up the game, uh, whatever part of the game you're currently on, it will have like a different profile shot of Jody on the main menu. Oh, like it did, um, sort of like it did that kind of thing whenever you booted up Heavy Rain, it had the last character you played as on the loading screen. Yeah, yeah. Like when we started the game, it was just Jody, normal. Uh, this time it was a homeless, <laughs> the homeless variant of Jody. <laughs> The alternate DLC costume. Yeah, yeah, I think I just unlocked Link's homeless attire in Hyrule Warriors Legends, actually. <laughs> uh, the uh, the song that is currently being played, or I say covered by Ellen Page, is uh, Lost Cause by Beck. Ah, okay. Which is rather fitting, I imagine. How long did I play for? It's like I played the Sun song or something. Wow. Thank you, Fedora Man. I appreciate your praise and input into this venture. He's very nonchalant for a person trying to earn a warm meal. If that was me, I would never stop. I would be like a rampaging rhino trying to get them dollars. <laughs> You'd just be like, my fingers are bleeding, but I'm still playing. It's six o'clock at night, but I can still make the breakfast menu. Where's the carvery? I need that all you can eat. Alright, Jody seems happy. The uh, goals of the game and also the altar has been appeased. Let's go get some food. Hells yeah. Spending that well-earned cash money, like. Well, you see, if you had a guitar, and also you were Alan Page, you could earn a bit more. <laughs> Both of these things would have given you more money. Jordan, where did you give all that cash? Trust me, I know the value of ten quid. That's a week's worth of shopping if you know how to shop correctly. <laughs> if you know which supermarket to venture into. Mm, I've never been homeless, but I've been close to it. Oh yeah, shopping mini game. Let's do this. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I like Stan. He's so optimistic. Yeah, he's a really nice character, actually. Closest uh, a human will ever come to being in a David Cage game, I guess. <laughs> 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 My God, he's got personality. He must be dead within two chapters. God, it's cold. Why did I ever decide to become homeless? <laughs> Why did she? Because <laughs> I had a look at, um, like, the timeline. And by the way, the game takes a fucking long time to load from boot up. I don't know why. I'm not even sure if that's my disc or not, because it's barely been used. But there's, like, um, there's, like, all the chapters at the start. Then there's the condenser, which I think is the big old space vagina machine we fucked with. Yeah. Then there's, like, CIA training. Then there's, like, hunted and such. So this takes place well after that. Oh god, so this is like way uh, sort of end of the timeline. It's well into the second third at least. Yeah. Like you, you've just got to screw with that timeline though. It's, it's David Cage philosophy. We can't have a game, you know, 
in just a simple order. It's got to be all over the fucking joint. Booyah! CIA training, bitch! <laughs> Who else wants some? I'm Alan Page, motherfuckers. Let's go! Nope, nope. Remember the basics of CQC, Jody. <laughs> I messed up one, but I'm still good. Oh yeah, you cannot stop me. I am invincible. I am the page of Ellen's. Leave me be. I don't. You want to step in anytime soon? Nope. Nope. We're good. Ow. You start to feel the emotions yet, Tom? Oh, that they're, they're careening through my <laughs> nostril cavity. <laughs> they're blasting my brain from various orifices. Thank God these are all left and right, because I find the up and down ones to be a little bit finicky. It's usually just because of the camera angle, isn't it? It kind of screws with your perception. Well, we're like not five minutes into this part, and I got to beat up some thugs. I'm having a good day so far. <laughs> this is a good Monday afternoon. Oh, yeah. Four of them. Is one of you? Yeah, well, they haven't had CIA ghost training, you know? <laughs> you just, you just got to know the right people, Stan. you got to know the right way about it. Oh, we're going to make this hobo community shine. In fact, by the end of this, the people with homes will be the ones worse off. <laughs> Trust me, Stan, we are going to be ballers. Oh, come on. That's a bit on the nose. <laughs> we cannot lay down story and narrative traps and tricks. We have to show them the story. <laughs> we have to really rub it in their faces. Please let today be the day where I is having a nap when I do this. Time for more hobo antics. Shenanigans, even. I really hope, like, Indigo Prophecy and Heavy Rain take place in the same universe. Oh, that'd be quite cool, actually. There's just a David Cage multiverse. I haven't been through the whole game myself, and obviously LPs I've watched are, you know, different from person to person, but apparently there's, like, a, a newspaper clipping talking about the origami killer. Yeah, it kind of it's. Um, it was just in the section previous to this when you were walking through the streets. Ah. Uh, the bloke sat on the bench. He's just kind of flicking through a newspaper. And if you go into Iden View, um, you can look over his shoulder, and it's going on about yeah, the origami killer, <laughs> the David Cage cinematic universe, <laughs> which ironically is the same thing as the DC cinematic universe, <laughs> initial wise anyway. So that's what the DC in DC comic stands for. Did you know those guys? Yeah, I hired them. I basically wanted you to feel good, even though you're homeless now. It's the same initiation test we have for everyone. You just gotta go with the flow, Jody. You'll be in with us in no doubt. I guess I'd like to show off. Men with friends. Crazy motherfuckers. You always gotta have a black guy say, motherfucker. It's like contractual or something. When is your baby due? The baby. Mom. She hasn't been kicking for days. Hmm. Aiden, do you want to kind of like x ray her, see the baby's aura? Can you do the thing? Aiden just develops new powers whenever he wants. He really is a stand. He's just like, oh, what's that? You need a CT scan. <laughs> uh, camp. How long have you been here? You bought on the bridge about. Six months ago. Don't, don't the police come by and like clear out homeless, or are they just allowed to live under the bridge? I would presume it's like a, a, a place they're allowed to be. It's, it's public property, I guess. Well, this is America compared to like our types of bridges. True, true, where they're about two feet tall. Yeah. Oh, that's always the way, isn't it? That's a badass name for a hobo refuge. <laughs> Dead End Drive. You haven't said much about yourself. Yeah, Jody. Oh, uh, well, you know, I played a bit of guitar, starred in some indie films, and then I met this guy called David Cage who had a photo album from me of, like, age six and up, which is really weird, but hey-ho. I'm homeless now, so none of that matters. I know that this is going to sound really strange. Hey, Tuesday, this is going to be a really weird question. Have you ever seen a space vagina? Ooh. Not this week, no. <laughs> well, let me tell you a thing or two. You said you were different, Jody. In what way? Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say, go the enigmatic route. We've got to keep this shroud of mystery up about Jody. 
I like the TV with a candle on it. That's fine viewing. I did the Merry Christmas bit behind it as well. It's ruined my life. I thought the stand was going to be cool, that it had really <laughs> shitty stats. It's like Hermit Purple, but worse. <laughs> We're all freaks here, Jody. It's fine. Mistake. God, it's starting to rain outside, and it looks like it's getting heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking either. Looks like Jimmy and the only one with a drug problem. Oh shit! <laughs> Look, ghost it like a name for crack, all right? I'm being serious here. Yeah, I've been doing some, been doing some ghost. Yeah. All right, that's enough of beans and extra beans, I guess. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Can I scan this lady? Or is it not time yet? I think you have to talk to her first, I'd say. Oh? Oh? That's Stan's wife, I think. Ah. Who can I talk to here? Jimmy? The handsome bum. Are, are you okay? I'm cold. I'm so fucking cold. Magician's red! <laughs> Oh, oh, is it one of these? It is. Heal his wounds this day, ye blessed creature! Okay, I've got to do it for all of them, I believe. So there's there's three things you can do here. Healing Jimmy is one of them. Um, you can go and check on Tuesday's baby. Well, I'm, I'm trying to, if the camera will pan down so <laughs> Um And you can also um, talk to Stan to act as a conduit for his late wife, yes. Oh, okay. That sounds super creepy. It's it's kind of like actual psychics. The pain's gone. How did you do that? I have a ghost and it has all the powers. <laughs> Multiple powers. Every single power is imbued with an Ellen Page. <laughs> she is the avatar. I know Ellen will save the world. <laughs> so who's Zuko in this picture? <laughs> He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, well, okay. Where's Stan? I want to talk to him. I want to bring out his dead wife. What are you doing? Trust me. Oh, this is about to get retarded, isn't it? Probably. Oh. Into the face! Right into the face! This is actually kind of sick. This is what you want from a game with ghost powers. Yeah, this is like exorcism level of nonsense. Oh, she has the voice at all. Like, I, I don't even want to make fun of this, because it's actually compelling. Yeah, this is actually, like, a reasonable, nice thing to do. Oh, it's vaguely creepy, but also mostly adorable. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> God, oh Jesus. <laughs> Shows how slow I am on the emotional uptake. I'm empty without you, my love. I'm so empty. Can we go back to making fun of the game, please? I can't deal with this level of emotion. This is actually, yeah, this is actually quite emotional. Do it for your stand, Stan. You be you, damn it, Stan. God help me, I miss you. Oh, man. Jeez, I'm gonna be coming down hard for days after this. Okay, we're just gonna go away from the ghost lady. Damn, man, I was not expecting that. No. I must have pushed all, like, actually well-written scenes out of my mind. And what a great addition to Dead End Drive. Jody, you gotta go far, girl, you gotta go far. 